Oh, it's by Andrew Buckle. In this video, I'm just going to show you Photoshop CC 2015. A number of features such as pattern overlays, particular polka dot pattern overlays, and smart adjustments, and how you can use them with libraries. Now, first thing to do, I'm just going to quickly create a shape. Uh, just create a shape using the rectangle tool and shape. Now, once you've got that, you can go to a layer and a layer style and a pattern overlay. So I'm just going to select that. Now these patterns are from graphic extras, but you of course can create and use any patterns. Don't have to use these ones. There's a whole range of different patterns in the set. I'm going to go with that one. Click OK. Now once you've done that, you can of course just quickly go to a layer and flatten it. But what I want to do is actually add some smart adjustments as well as you could add layer effects as well as smart filters. To do that, you just go to a layer and smart objects and convert to smart object. Right, now it's a smart object. You just can see over here, you've just got layers and you've got a smart object over there. And you've got this rectangle. Of course, you could rename it at this point. And I'm just going to just quickly click on that and call it polka top one. Okay, now what you can do, you can just go to image and adjustments and I'm gonna, there's a number of options. As a smart object, these are smart adjustments, so you can hue and saturation. And I'm just gonna go for a slightly garish green. Now, click OK. Now, what happens, you can actually see hue and saturation appears over here, uh, underneath the smart filters. And of course, you can move the whole lot, one go, or you can move it individually, if there was multiple. And you can also double click on hue and saturation to bring up the dialogue game. Now, what you can then do is you can modify the colour again. Go for a garish, very garish pink there. Click OK. Now, once you've done all that and you've decided that's what I want, you can, of course, again, you can just go to a layer and a flatten image. But you can also just go to smart objects again, convert to smart object. Now, before I do that, though, I just want to just quickly show you that if you just copy this now to the libraries, so you just copy that, and what happens, it actually copies the underlying polka dots. I don't want that, that's why I was going to layer and smart objects and convert to smart object. So a whole lot, smart adjustments, they're all included now in that smart object. And then what you can do, just drag that over and then you will see the smart object over here and Again, you can, of course, rename it at this point. You just right click and rename if you wish. Maybe put that it is a smart object, just to remind yourself. Now, you can remove it that now. And I'm just going to bring it back. So I'm just going to drag that over. And you can, of course, resize it, move it around. But, so I want to change it at this point. I think I don't want that polka dot, not that scale. So what you can do, you can actually see there's a little option up there. You just smart object thumbnail and again double click. Now you're back to the original source style. What you can do then is go to a layer and pattern overlay and you can actually maybe just you want it smaller. There. So just reduce it down. Click OK. Now you just save that. Quickly save that PSP file. Save that one, you notice it's updated. Click save, and that will then update there. And also, not only that, it also updates there because I actually dragged it across. There's an option, so you've got options there, obviously, new libraries, etc. But if you just go over to this option, there's also an option here, so you can right click here as well. Now, place link. Personally, I wish that these options were actually available here as well if you're selecting an item, but but unfortunately they're not. So place linked or place layers. Now if you use place linked and that was the option of just copying it over, any change to the style, etc., is reflected again here and will be updated across your entire creative cloud. Okay, so once you've actually done that, again, you just go flatten or you can, of course, hold the Alt key down and create maybe multiple designs as well. Anyway, I hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.